Good afternoon everyone, uh, my name is Nina Monday, I'm the Chief Executive of Fife Centre for Ecologies. I'm here just to kind of like um, coming on live to say thank you to everybody uh, for watching the Diversity Week 5 2020. So today is the last day, uh, we had our last performance earlier at 1pm uh, uh, today and uh, so I think it's probably quite uh, nice for me to have this job to kind of come up and uh, say uh, thank you for all of you uh, for watching and participating in the programme. I think uh, it's been a really good programme. Um, we weren't sure what to expect because there was a lot of technology problem that we had to overcome. Um, you know, it's our first time um, uh, doing everything virtually, um, including the, the, the kind of like uh, chats and uh, and the performances and I think everybody has done really really well uh, there's been a, uh, a quite a lot of people in the background uh, working uh, non-stop um, you know in terms of editing the videos afterwards so um, it's been really great uh, from my perspective in terms of what the team has produced uh, during the lockdown and if my cat appear in the video hello <laughs> I don't know whether you can see her. I think um, this is my cat. Uh, she's the younger one. She used to be quite. She usually is quite shy. And um, if uh, if any of you would be in the living room with me just now, uh, she would have disappeared. But um, she decided that she wants to come on Facebook to say hello too. Uh, okay. Anyway, so so on Monday uh, this week, um, you you met our team. Uh, so. Uh, the, the meet the FCE team and I think that's probably the first technology problem that we had um, I think uh, sometimes uh, you don't realize how would it would come across when we're doing like a, a live interview over a uh, Facebook and uh, using another program to stream uh, fortunately uh, we were able to um, uh, do another take uh, of that uh, session meet the FCE team uh, and, and then in the afternoon we had a uh, ginger fruits so thank you very much uh, for being our very first uh, performance act and then on Tuesday we had two groups both of them community pantries I think uh, I think it was really quite um, enlightening to to kind of learn how groups have um, um, done their best to um, meet the needs of people uh, during during the lockdown during the crisis because I think when the lockdown was announced, uh, nobody knows how to support people, uh, to especially those ones that were really vulnerable and uh, in need of lots of support. And, and I think it's quite good to see so many pantries um, and community groups set up in Fife that uh, specifically wanting to uh, make sure that the um, you know every family who needs food was able to access uh, appropriate food. And then on the Tuesday uh, afternoon, we had our Sandy Breakin, the accordionist, uh, uh, with his dog. Uh, it, yeah, he's, he's very funny. And uh, so even though he kept saying that he's, he's not from Fife, but uh, he wanted to be a Fifer. So we're glad that he was able to participate uh, uh, from uh, in the other way in Edinburgh. <laughs> and then on, on Wednesday, I think um, we had lots of really really positive feedback about the uh, uh, letter pick uh, picker brigade and and i think lots of you uh, after watching uh, the uh, the chat with the letter picker brigade uh, wanting to uh, take part um, in helping to keep our beaches and uh, beaches and also our streets clean and then in the afternoon uh, wednesday was a busy day because uh, in the afternoon we also had a uh, brag enterprises uh, talking about how not uh, how they support a, a, a variety of groups uh, as well as an enterprise. Uh, in the afternoon, uh, we had Jackson. Uh, uh, I think that Jackson's uh, performance probably was the most watched um, uh, live performance of the whole week. So uh, well done, uh, Jackson. Uh, I think the last time I looked, he had his video had over two thousand. Viewing so uh, for a small organisation like us, uh, Five Centre for Equalities, who deliver the Diversity 
week five uh, on an annual basis. So um, it's amazing uh, to, 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 to see the young, uh, young uh, Jackson and to receive so much good feedback from everybody. And I'm sure he, he's well chuffed with that. Um, and then on, on the Thursday, uh, uh, SHIELD uh, is another organization who um, uh, uh, started uh, during the lockdown uh, in response to the uh, crisis and uh, to, to hear how they have actually used the donated food to create uh, nutritious uh, meals for uh, people who need it. So well done to all the volunteers uh, and uh, being very creative about how they uh, delivered uh, the vital meals to the people. Uh, and then uh, another young singer on the Thursday afternoon, uh, Ely, um, uh, was a recorded session and we know that it meant a lot for, for her and for us uh, to record herself singing and for us to broadcast that. So thank you very much for that. And uh, on, on Friday, a subject that's very close to our host, uh, Lisa, uh, you know, who's been delivering the uh, less chat all week, uh, five college education to see how um, you know, education sector continue to provide um, um, support uh, to the students uh, to ensure that there's, um, the disruption to the learning was minimised. Um, and in the, uh, in the Friday afternoon, uh, uh, we had a, a, a very kind of uh, popular uh, local uh, pipe, uh, backpiper, uh, Dean Saunders, um, so I'm sure many of you watched that and I actually really, really quite enjoyed it on the Friday afternoon. I thought it really lift, uh, lift my spirit up uh, and got me finishing all the board papers that I had to, had to finish uh, ahead of my board meeting next week. So thank you very much, Dean, um, um, for the uplifting music. And then on Saturday, we had quite a big group uh, from the Fife Interfaith Group uh, joining us at the last chat. Uh, and it was it was it was really um, insightful um, to hear about a different religion, and yet it's about what are the similarities that drew the group together, and to 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 kind of like working on um, supporting uh, different individuals, even across different faiths, and uh, and I think sometimes. You know, we do f forget that we have more in common than uh, you know the differences between us. And I think the the, the chat uh, of the Fife Interfaith Group uh, certainly demonstrated that. Uh, and uh, and now on Saturday afternoon, uh, we had uh, Nat B, uh, who's part of the Decanted. Uh, it was uh, it was a very happy session, and uh, both of them. Um, uh, performed really well uh, on Saturday afternoon and uh, again um, I think the weather wasn't so good yesterday afternoon but then it certainly brightened up uh, with the uh, you know with the performance and today um, I mean Demi has performance uh, performed for us a, a number of times before in the Fife Women's Tent and also Diversity Week 5 so we were so happy for her to end the whole week for us um, on a really such a positive note. I mean, Demi, I mean, most of you probably will know that uh, she is a nurse and she has been uh, working um, throughout the lockdown uh, supporting people as well as uh, performing uh, live uh, from her own living room uh, to, to just to make all of us happy, continue to be happy. So thank you very much for that, Demi. Um, and I think have, having uh, thank all the groups and the performers, I probably should just thank uh, our two key staff, uh, Elric uh, Andre and uh, uh, Lisa um, McDonald. Uh, they've both done really well. I mean, Lisa, for her to kind of take on the challenge to host all the less chats, um, you've done amazing. And I've seen your confidence growing every day as, um, as your line manager, I'm really, really delighted uh, to see that. And thank you for taking on the challenge for pulling the program together, contacting the groups and then um, and hosting all the last chats. And then Elric, who's been working very hard in the background to ensure that, um, you know, everything would go well uh, this week. I think you've done really well. I know that you've 
you're losing your voice and hence why I said that I would just come on uh, uh, to do this uh, session on my own because I know that you've been posting the kind of the recap every day and, and uh, just highlighting uh, what happened on that day and then what people got to look forward to um, and also the rest of the team just you know doing what you do to promote uh, other events um, as part of the five um, diversity week five program and uh, and also just not just to promote but also just to make sure that the whole week um, went through smoothly so well done all of you and well done for also promoting uh, the work of uh, five centre for equalities and for all of you who participated uh, throughout this week thank you and I hope that you will continue to support us in uh, I mean the diversity week five probably won't happen again next year and we do hope that when when it happens next year we'll be back seeing you uh, you know in person um, like we have done before and uh, we, uh, you know five center for equalities we still have quite a number of projects that you can participate and if you're wanting to um, promote equality and diversity across the whole five then uh, do get in touch with us uh, there's many ways that people can get engaged with five center for equalities anytime all year through and uh, so i do hope that by next year um, the diversity week five will be uh, delivered to you in person and uh, until then um, stay safe and, and do pop out and see us uh, or drop us an email, drop us a note on Facebook, just let us know uh, which part of Diversity Week 5 you, you enjoy the most and uh, you know, if, if there's things that you think Five Centre for Equalities can uh, work on, also we're open to all kinds of suggestions. Um, okay, thank you very much and I'll see you again soon. Bye.